Mm. Frank John. <clears throat> He is such... Howard, I don't understand how you can have... No, no, I, I don't care. All right, let's uh, meet the Polish broadcaster. I had enough of that. I had enough of her. I cut her off. Uh, this is Anna. She's from Poland. She's a radio personality in Warsaw. Who cares about Stuttering John? People call up with wacky agendas. Ah, oh, where's Stuttering John? Stuttering John's fine with me. He stutters and that's good enough. Oh, here she is. The Polish bro hey baby, what are you saying, huh? You look Polish. Come here. <laughs> you probably scared her with all your yelling. I know. <laughs> She's afraid to come. I don't even know if she speaks English. You speak English? I speak English, but not so perfect like you, like you do. I speak beautifully. Yes. No. Yes. How are you, honey? Fine, thank you. Hey, you seem like a young broad. How old are you? Uh, 34. 34. I look, I look young. Yeah, get that microphone close. First thing you'll learn about an American broadcast is you got to get close to that microphone. We have the worst microphones in America. Oh, really? I think they were built by poles. I know oh. close. Right. You look a little like Patty Duke. Anybody ever tell you that? No, I don't. Yeah, you look a little like Patty Duke. He's a nice person? No. Yes. I mean, yes, he is. All right. No, you know who she looks like. Who? Bonnie Franklin. You look a little like Bonnie Franklin. One day at a time. You know Bonnie Franklin? Oh, you use such a, uh, unknown uh, names. <laughs> well, you didn't have that show in <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right, you look a little like Ben Franklin. You know that oh. name? Oh. Uh, now you know a name? <laughs> yeah. I'm look, I'm look like Anna Maruszeczko. You look a little bit like, um, uh, who was the one in the Ingmar Bergman movies? Oh, uh, what Liv, was that? Uh, Liv, Liv, Liv Ullman. Ullman. Liv Ullman. My husband told me once that I look like Liv Ullman, but it was many years ago when he fell in love with me. You're a fascinating oh, woman. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> many years ago he fell in love with you. Yeah, is that over? That's the way of most marriages. No, it is. It, he, you eat kielbasa? Oh. Do you know kielbasa? Do you like it? you kielbasa? like it? Oh, not so much. I never had it. Oh. Although I have one in my pants if you'd like to oh. eat some. I keep one in there, honey. No. All right, listen. Uh, so you are a broadcaster in Poland. What time are you on? Uh, on 12. I start on 12. 12 o'clock in the afternoon? Yes, and t I do it till uh, 3 p.m. every day, from Monday till Friday, every day. Listen to this. Over in Poland, yes. they all they do on the radio is play radio. You know, for the years, they've just played music. Uh-huh. Now, all of a sudden, they got a new concept called interactive radio. No, you know what that, that is? They're taking phone calls. Oh, that's no. it? Yeah. It is. Oh, dear. Can you imagine? <laughs> and what, and, and what How is did it? they come up with that concept? Isn't that mind-blowing? Yeah, they invented that. <laughs> They're taking phone calls. <laughs> Thank God I live in the United States of America. I had, God bless this country. How long did it take to get that done? Yeah, why couldn't you take phone calls before? Was it like the government wouldn't let you? No, 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 no. It wasn't, uh, it, uh, it, did, it didn't depend on that. You guys just didn't people, think of it? Pe no, people, the, people didn't know about such kind of uh, radio station simply. Uh, so what do you do? You take phone calls now and play music? Uh, at the very beginning, at the very beginning, I have to have some hooks uh, on callers. I see. Let me see how you take a caller. I'm going to evaluate you as a broadcaster. Let me see how you do. I'm going to plunk down my phone randomly. Here and you, uh, you talk to them. I'll be out of the room. I'll pretend to be out of the room. Here we go. Go ahead. Oh, you're on the air. Yes. This Gary. <laughs> hey, hey, Howard. I'm gonna call and have you call the radio, the TV station up in Oregon. There's Debbie a B32. They took you off the air. Oh, Jesus. Oh, At what time are you start to talk about sex in you should America? You should start to talk to this gentleman and engage yeah, him in you're conversation. You're doing a phone call. Right. Oh, he, he pronounced so, so bad, so I cannot cut him. I see. Well, Sorry. you're not going to make jokes about the way he talks? Or maybe... Are you nice or you're on the phone? Are you nice? I try to be normal, you know. Sometimes <laughs> I'm nice, sometimes I... Who's this, I'm Gary the retard? Yes, sir. Oh. Hey, Gary, why don't you uh, give her a question so she can answer you? She You're wants talking to... to a Polish broadcaster. You're on Polish radio. Go ahead. I am? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Where's she? Where's she? Where's she at? He's asking you where you're at. Where I am? Yeah. I'm in Howard's uh, Stern Studio. Wow, okay. you're good. All right, Gary, okay. call back later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you didn't do too good with that. All right, so wait a second. So you go on at 12 o'clock in the afternoon and you're on till when? Uh, around three. Well, oh, the show starts at 12. When does it end? Three. Three. Oh, three. three. I thought you said yeah. when. Oh, I see. Three o'clock. <laughs> you got a communication problem here. Yeah. You got nice legs, honey, I'll tell you that. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so three o'clock, you finish your show. Yes. Right. And you take phone calls for three hours and you talk about topics. About topics. What do you course. talk about? About... Uh, you talk about World War Two. 
Oh, no. Never. Oh, from time to time when we have some an adversary. And Do you ever get on and say that the Germans annexed Poland? Uh, in record amount of time, there was no uh, there was no uh, resistance put up whatsoever to the Nazis, and in fact, uh, the Nazis used uh, the Poles to exterminate Jews. Oh, do you talk about that? Yes, of course. You do. You do talk about that. Yeah. From time to time. Hmm. What do you say about it? What do you say about it? It's not true. No. <laughs> it never happened. <laughs> <laughs> Poles hate Jews. You know, everybody hates Jews. Don't get me wrong. But the Poles are some of the top. No, no, the, no. Pool, the Poles are the top. No, you, hate. No. you know, there isn't a Jew. I think there's three Jews left in the entire no, country. Think... And there's not one black. No. Well, well, never... What is it? What? No. Baba Bowie. What is it, Baba? Did you see the door just opening and closing? Baba Bowie. Yeah, what was that? Can that's, I um, say something? that's Anna's friend. She wants to be in here. She thinks that you're talking too fast for Anna and that there's a lot that she's not understanding. Mm. It doesn't matter. Really? Yeah. She, what, if I talk Can slow, I... she's going to understand me? Bring her in. I don't care. Yeah, How's your friend? Is your friend hot? Can I answer about the Jews? Absolutely, please. Go ahead. So I can say that, uh, you know, Hi. people Hi. all over the world think that in Poland, in Poland, everyone is anti-Semitist. But if, of course. But they are not. Well, because they, they got rid of them all. There's no Jews. There's no Jews left. No. You know, they still blame the Jews over there. <laughs> what? Let me tell you, Poland had a big Jewish population. It really did, before World War II. And it was a thriving... A thriving... Uh, for, are you kidding? Poland had a tremendous economy. Mm -hmm. So when Warsaw was a great city. When Hitler took over, great city yeah. it used to be. And then the Hit Hitler took over. He convinced the Pol They didn't convince him. He killed off all the Jews. Now they have nothing. They have no culture. They have no economy. They have nothing. Oh, you know how it is. It's the truth. You're going to lie to me and tell me I'm not telling the <laughs> truth. And get, then everybody get out of here. What? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yes. She was supposed to do an interview with you. Yes. You were not supposed to ask those questions. About Jews? About no. Jews. <laughs> no, no. Well, I'm just well, come on. Why not? Why hide? No, no, we don't hide. Have you, ever don't, been, have you ever been in Poland? Would never go. Ever. Ever would never go. That's dangerous. So, I would never go. Are you afraid about what? I'm half Jewish. Oh. You guys will throw me in an oven. No, we, we, you know. <laughs> you, and you don't even look at the Christian side of me. Oh. My Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> so I would like I would like to... In the old days, there were bagels on every corner. Yeah, yeah bagels are also... Right, are you guys going to deny Wait, that... You, a real person or an actor? He's yes. an actor? Who is an actor? You are. Hitler? You are an actor. I'm an actor? Yes. Why do you say this? I Because I can feel it. You feel I'm acting? Because you provoke for nothing. Oh, this is not nothing, baby. I, 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 I speak are, the truth. How are, have so you been in, in Poland in hospital? Me, uh, have you read the books? I will never, ever go to Poland. I will not go. Oh. I would not go to Auschwitz. Uh -huh. There is no reason to look at that place. No. It makes me sick to my stomach. Uh -huh. That an entire country you must be very sensitive could. Guy. Very I am sensitive. sensitive to. I am sensitive to human atrocity. Uh huh. And I am the only one who remembers. I hate the French. The French are cowards. Oh, I've heard about. Yes, that. I no, hate the French. Anna, I heard about that. I hate the French. And they hate you also. I don't care if they hate me. <laughs> oh. they, I don't. They hate everybody. The French oh, are scumbags. No. Yes, they are cowards. They don't even let us use their airspace when we have to bomb. Uh, the Arabs. See, Anna, we were with, with, with the poetry of this uh, conversation. Yes. So we can be you wrong. girls have to learn history. Well, you know this is not revisionism. You do. No, you do not no. know more history than I do. I'm a student of the world. Oh. <laughs> I am. I'm a genius. But Robin will tell you I'm a genius. Here. You're still here. You can touch the real no. life. I am a genius. My audience knows I'm a genius. I speak the truth. And I'm just going over history, that's all. I'll allow you to ask your questions, but you must be taught your history lesson. So that when you go on the radio in Poland, you should remind your listeners that all of them are going to hell for what they did. <laughs> but some of them are like 30 years old. It doesn't matter. The sins of the parents are the sins of the children. What about your sins? I have none. Children? I have none. Uh, what about I am pure. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> I am pure. A few oh, days ago I on the, the movie, and it was... My movie was one of the biography. greatest... My movie was one of the greatest movies ever made. Oh. It was. <laughs> <laughs> you disagree? Name a better movie than my movie. It no. was interesting, but I don't know if the best. Uh, how how your wife on on your work here? On your how my wife on my work here? Yeah. My wife is fine. Mm. My wife lives in the lap of luxury. She knows who she married. She knows she married a madman, <laughs> and she's happy. Well, maybe she's not happy. And hey, why don't you two girls kiss? Yeah. She wasn't happy when a few days ago you mentioned about her 40 pounds. She must have hated you for that. I never said anything about 40 pounds. With, with my, wife, 
My wife uh, recently dropped a lot of weight. She looks fantastic. Oh, thanks God you said so. I <laughs> said that on the air. You girls don't know history and you don't know anything about my wife. <laughs> Listen, you should get on the air in Poland if you really want to do a radio show mm -hmm. and stop that mamby-pamby crap you guys put on over there. Get on the air. There. He knows what we put there. Yeah, I know what you do. What are you talking about? Give me the topics. Give me the topics you guys talk about. Oh, for example, um, go ahead. Uh, Sometimes you know our police is not excellent. Not the police, and all right. People sometimes don't feel safe. And sometimes police say, uh, say to people, "Help us, help us." All right, that's a you good must, topic. You must to help us. And I ask people if they want to help police, and they answer both. Some of them want to help them, and some of them, no, no, never. You don't never. think, do you ever get on the air and say, why are there no Jews in Poland? Do you ever ask that question? She will ask when she comes back. No, seriously, do you, have you ever asked that? Have you ever got on the air and asked that? Mm. What was the question? Uh, no, why there are no Jews in Poland? Poland? She has been here for one day in New York. Go ahead. Okay, so sometimes she doesn't. Pyta się, czy ty no, they're right. They're like three. You can count them on one hand. They were killed by Nazis. They were killed. Not by Nazis, by Poles. Come on. Did the Poles not run the concentration camps for the Nazis? No. Lies! 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 You're crazy about this topic. I yeah, want the, be because, to because, because the media overseas has revisionist history. No. Yeah. No. So oh. boring discussion. No. The, the police is the boring Sex discussion. Or Jews. Sex, Sex or, or Jews. Jews. Oh, we oh, don't want to talk I, about I the Jews. The Jews are boring. Uh, World War II is boring. Oh, the annihilation of millions of people is boring. No. Ah, oh, come on. This is outrageous. No, boring is your, um, is your point of view. Oh, yeah. oh, I see. You are not saying anything new, Howard. Oh, no, but I am saying the truth. We would have to... And you are denying it. We, no. You are telling me the concentration camps were not run by Poles? No. Okay. All right. Well, then we disagree. Yes. Then we disagree. No. Then we disagree. You know. Robin, do you disagree with me? No. You do not. Oh, See? Don't you don't think this is controversial? Robin, do we have any other choice? Oh, sure. I have plenty of <laughs> she well, has free will. You? What, do you think I'm captive here? Oh. What do you think she is? Oh, do you think I'm a Nazi? Are you calling me a Nazi and Robin a Jew? How dare you? You see a woman and immediately you think she's subjugated. All right. <laughs> this is not Poland, honey. Our women speak out. Honey, I have been oh, here honey. for 11 years. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. Completely independent. All right. Obviously, you two are not used to real radio. This is real controversial radio. You two can't handle it. I see you buckling. Sometimes you, sometimes you create this controversy. I'm not creating anything. You are. I'm telling you. And I'll tell you something. Don't what insult. What does she want to ask you? First of all, oh, I see. why are you here? All right. Why are you here? He's not Go ahead. I am the greatest. I'm going to tell you something right now. I'll switch the topic. You are the greatest um, uh, radio star all over the world. You. I am the no, not all over the world. I am not the greatest radio star all over the world. I'm not on all over the world. Mm -hmm. I am the greatest radio star in this country. Mm -hmm. What I have done is revolutionized radio. The freedoms you are now starting to feel on the radio are as a result of what I do. I, in, it, I am interested in what your aim. You are so controversial because the American people are no. so conservative. No, 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 no. The American people aren't anything. Mm -hmm. The American people are a bunch of dopes just like everywhere in the world. People are basically dopey. What about the Jews? All of the Jews who are Americans. All the Jews are dead over in Poland. What do you care? I'm talking Stop about Jews with the Jews. In oh, you want to bring up the Jews in America? Oh. The Jews in America live in fear of you every day. Believe me, they do. <laughs> the Jews in America haven't forgotten. Don't keep bringing up Jews. Oh, you the best not keep bringing up the Jews. Wow. World War II is the biggest disgrace this planet has ever seen. Okay, okay, okay my fault. My fault. My fault. All right, all right. You brought it up. Okay. World right. War II is the biggest disgrace this planet has ever seen. That's right. World oh, War II. Stop it. It's not the biggest. It's one of. And we bombed the hell out of those chinks. And let me tell you something. They still haven't recovered. <laughs> we bombed them short. Yep. All right. Now, let me tell you something. Oh, she's translating. Yes, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, where was I? Let me tell you something. There's no aim on this show. The aim of this show is to entertain people. Right now, there's some guy stuck in his car. Oh. Oh. Oh, so you look down on the audience. Honey, what is wrong with you? 
I'm exp you know I'm taking time out of my busy schedule and my audience's uh, schedule to exp I am I am a great man and for me to stop down and take time with two Polish broadcasters two Polish not broadcasters. you one only she one what are you what are you doing here I'm her best girlfriend I oh. came to kiss on its show all right good all right then you keep quiet I'm not interested in you Don't let me talk to let me talk to your friend here because she's a broadcaster even though compared to me she is nothing <laughs> oh. Our broadcasting is nothing compared to my broadcasting. Wait in few years. <laughs> no, a few years should be... There'll be a movie about her. Yeah, there'll be a movie about her. <laughs> I, All right. Listen, I got nothing against her. She seems like a lovely woman. You understand? You're a lovely woman. Thank you, Dad. And I, the fact that I would take two seconds of my day hmm? to talk with you is a great honor for you. <laughs> she didn't and, realize that. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm telling her. Lucky girl. <laughs> right. And I'm going to tell you right now. Yes. All right? Because you're a lucky girl today. But don't speak about Jewish. Oh, yes. We'll hide that under the carpet. No. Yes. Sure. We'll, we'll, we'll sweep that all under the carpet so you'll feel better at night. We'll sweep that all under the carpet. <laughs> That's how they do it. Now, I'm going to tell you the following. The mo I'll answer your question. The motivation for the show yeah. is to make that guy in his car laugh. I see. To have a good time. What is your motivation? Oh, almost the same. Almost the same. Well, what would be the difference? <laughs> but the difference is the there difference no cars. Is I, I think. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Too many right now. To make the Jews laugh as they're being marched into the ovens. Oh! oh. Again? <laughs> that was. A... <laughs> All right. What is your purpose? Uh, my purpose is to <laughs> yes. to inform people to entertain, 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 uh, entertain yes, entertain people and to, to make them. Uh, better, better. better. Oh, you're trying to improve people. You're like Oprah. Oh. oh. <laughs> right. Robin, better person. Aaron, what is it? You're on the air. How you doing, Howard? Yes. I want to talk to these two Polacks here. Oh. All right, go ahead. I think that you guys are the stupidest sound of people I've ever heard in my entire oh, life. Oh, that's not fair. These two ladies oh. are very lovely. Are yeah, how many languages do you speak? Yeah. Well, she doesn't speak English. That's what I have to say. You know, she has been here for a while. I'm trying to instruct her in history so she can go back and do a real radio show and talk to her people. But she don't want to hear it. None of them want to hear it. It's like these French broadcasters come over here. They don't want to hear it either. Everybody wants to hide their head in the sand. I'm tired of being the only one who makes any sense. Well, the problem in Poland is they don't understand. Nah, they understand plenty. They know what they're up to. They try to hide the fact that they killed the Jews. Oh, Jesus. There you go. There you go. Here's See? A, see? Everybody knows. You gotta, you gotta face up to it. You gotta face the music. And they're saying it's not true. Of course, they always say it's not true. I talk to French, they say it's not true. <laughs> Everybody talks about the resistance. You know what? There is no resistance. Resistance. How about the fact that their families are living in Jewish people's houses that they took away? There you go. Talk about that on the air. Nobody ever talks that? about that. It's crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Jewish houses were uh, destroyed during the oh. Second World War. I see. And you know <laughs> they were destroyed. Only the Jewish yeah. houses. Right. Well, only the, only the Jewish houses were destroyed. All right. Thank you. All the houses were. Destroyed. I'm saying, if you want to talk about Don't stuff you, on the radio, you know the history of Warsaw, for example. Yeah, I know the whole thing. I read the wall. Listen, the whole thing is the this. What? The wall. Remember, we read a book, the wall about the oh, Warsaw yeah, ghetto. Yeah. All right. Anyway, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. When you get on the radio. This is how you got to talk. You learn on your something. <laughs> this is what you got to do. Stop with that dopey police discussion and get on and get real. Get busy. Then you'll have a radio show. You'll have the biggest radio. You have this discussion in Poland. They'll go, the, the ratings will go through the roof. <laughs> so will you. <laughs> but yeah. she, she won't be able to get oh, out yeah, of the building. That's, that's <laughs> been throwing about five dick jokes and you got a radio oh, show. You <laughs> yeah, what is it? You're on the air. Go ahead. <laughs> Hello, yes. Hey, listen, you big dope. My grandfather, my grandma, and part of my family was killed because they, they, they hide the Jews in the basement. And that was in the case of a lot of Polish family. Oh, look, Colonel Klink's on the died. phone. Oh. <laughs> Colonel Klink, how's my old buddy? Hogan. Hogan. I know nothing. <laughs> I found the one guy who did something good. Well, there were, there were a few. Yeah. Go to the library, take a few books. Yeah, I'll, I'll take out all the books. I'll sit and study based on your yeah, word. You. Yo, big hey, dumb ox. Big, douchey, 
Douche. Hey, douchey douche, come down here. I'll yeah, kick I, your ass. I would take so much I pleasure in choking you to death. death. I'd love to kill you. I wish, the, I wish, I wish Senator D'Amato, at his last thing in office, Senator he would allow D'Amato me to legally to kill, kill you. Oh, oh, man. I swear, I would take. I would love to take a, a noose and put it around your neck and hang you. Oh. Governor Pataki, they the best. Uh, shut up, Governor Pataki. Uh, is twice the man you are, you scoundrel. We love uh, Governor. Pataki. You're damn right. You love him. You're damn right you embrace him, but where were you when he was 20 points below in the polls? You yeah, are we, nowhere. Hey, we all went for Pataki and Alfonso Ah, uh, sh- shut up, you idiot. Where was I? <laughs> all right. Now this what is, is it like over there? This is a good show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid not for, not for Polish people, you know, they are more quiet. No, the, quiet, the Polish people are not quiet. They're they very active. Stirred up. Yeah, oh, stir them up. Are, but ah. not in this sense. Really, talk in German, you'll stir them right up. Oh. They'll do whatever you want. So, what are you talking about? You ever talk about sex over there? No, for example, w- uh, before I left Poland, right? A few years, two, a few you don't talk about sex. We talk. Anal sex? Sometimes. You ever yeah. bring up the topic of anal sex? Oh, but you know, not so early in the morning. No. No. no so at night. Time to talk about no, sex? No, I think so. No. Yeah, you know. Do you girls dig that at all? You like that uh, <laughs> Polish pope? Robin. Yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I love him. You do. Well, whatever. Yeah. And that uh, steel worker who became your president? Yeah, good choice. <laughs> the, ele- the electrician. The electrician. The electrician. The electrician. Okay. Yeah, that's right. We got a professional wrestler as a governor. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. All right. So uh, you will not bring up the topic of anal sex in Polish oh. radio. She will. You she will. will. You will she bring will. Will. it up. Ooh. Good okay. for you. Okay. <laughs> and she will bring up the subject of Jews also, I think. No, she won't. She will. She'll bring it up the way she, she goes, ah, the Jews, they, they brought it on themselves. <laughs> All, right. All right. Anyway, so what is it you need to know from the greatest broadcaster that ever lived? This I is something you can tell your grandchildren one day, that you sat with the greatest broadcaster on the planet. Yeah. Go ahead. So I would like to know, you know, in Poland people think that in America everything must be politically correct. It must be very limiting, but uh, I think that not for you. What That's you not even a question. Hmm. It sounds it's like statement. Poland is very politically correct. Yeah, it sounds like you can't bring up the Jews. Oh. <laughs> Listen, the, it's a very simple story. There were tons of Jews in Poland. You can't find any there now. They're all gone. Do you know any Jews? Um, lots. No. Lots of well, Where do here. you know? You're living <laughs> no. here. In Poland. In Poland do you, have you ever met a Jew in Poland? Exactly, yes. No, not you. You live in America. No, but I am there. No, I want to talk to this woman here who lives in Poland. I want her to tell the truth. Do you know any Jews in Poland yes, that live in Poland? Yes. How many? Be honest. Oh, I don't count them. Oh, you I, sure I, do. It is dumb. I predict that she has never I met a Jew in Poland. <laughs> I speak with people. I meet that people. live not in Poland. Poland. That were born there. You are, uh, you are, you are Jewish, crazy Anna. about that. Uh-huh. But no, 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 no. no. Oh, my, my boss, but your example, boss is No, Jewish. hold it. You're, in the media. You're yeah. telling me <laughs> that you know Poles who are Jewish that live there now in Poland. I don't believe you. I think you're lying. So, it, oh, it, oh no. she says her boss oh, is Jewish. No. You're saying the truth? Yes, of course, darling. Really? Yes, <laughs> her my, boss my, is Jewish. My friend is Jewish. Your friend? Yes. What is his name? Uh, oh. Bogna. What? Bogna. 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 Yeah. <laughs> there are more giant pandas in Poland than Jews. Oh, please. please, they wipe them all out. <laughs> Oh, it is not interesting. You know, the people are crashing right for now. Me, for me, because, uh, because I don't... It's too painful for you. Yeah. No. No, who no. cares about them? I speak with people, <laughs> not with Jewish, with Polish. No, I'm with asking Chinese. you about the history. I... You are not answering my questions. Mm-hmm. This is not boring. This is the getting down to it. <laughs> this is your obsession. But it's not, I never talk about this, but you're here today. You're from Poland. I'm asking no, you, I, I want to see if you America, understand the history of Poland. Time, I was uh, here two years ago. Everybody asked me about the same. You're going to tell me that the people we're in fascinated. Poland don't hate the Jews still to this day? You're going to tell me that. If you, in all honesty, you're going to sit here and tell me that. You don't hear a lot of anti-Semitic comments, even though there are hardly any Jews left living there. They are still blamed for some of the economic problems in Poland. You know, once I have some program for television about very, very young Jewish. Yeah. Very, very young Jewish. Go ahead. Uh, their parents, uh, not to be Jewish nowadays, because maybe they were pressured at the very beginning by communists, maybe. See, I'm testing you now. You don't realize. No, they, they Do you understand the be... test I'm putting you through now? 
the test is to see how honest you can be in your broadcast. Yeah. How deep you can go into the dirtiest parts of Polish history. And you can't go there. It's too painful for you. You will not be a great broadcaster with this attitude. Free yourself. You have to free yourself. You're right, Jackie. And you, ha and you have flunked the test. You have flunked my test. <laughs> if you came in here and said, yes, there is a terrible anti-Semitic problem in Poland. I'm going to go on the air and talk about it. Then I know you were going to be a great broadcaster. You will only be mediocre because you don't look into the truth. Do you think so? Yeah. You're not bright. I, 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 the government here has fined me over $1.8 million. There's religious groups trying to get me off the air. Why do you think? I ain't playing tiddlywinks here. I'm doing the real thing. If you want to be a great broadcaster, if you want to be mediocre, you're already there. If you want to be great, you can't be afraid to hide from the truth. And you failed my test. Now march into the oven. Oh, That's the penalty. You must march into my oven. Oh. Thank you. All right. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? Yes, Did, darling. Do you learn from what I'm saying? Yeah. Or are you offended by what I'm saying? Have you learned today? Think about that. You see, I'm very provocative. You have you been taught a great lesson. You are sitting in front of the Buddha of radio. <laughs> the greatest broadcaster that ever lived. And I have taught you a great lesson. Thank you. You're what? Ah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. I am the greatest because I don't, I, if I was on in Poland, I would get on the air and say, you have all sinned. Hmm. You should and now today we're going to talk about the Jews. You should they would, the ratings would go through the roof. People Ooh. would be screaming. I'd be fined by the government. Yeah. But I am not afraid. You are very brave. brave. I am the bravest, greatest broadcaster. <laughs> and I tested you today and you flunked. Okay. But don't say, don't, you learned a great lesson. You take off the headphones. You've had enough? I have enough. You really oh, have had geez, enough. Geez, wow. I have enough. Oh, you can't take it. Oh. I thought you were going to thank me. We thought you were tough. You're not tough enough. Oh. You're not no, cut I'm out to be the great... Enough. I was testing you to see if you could be the Howard Stern of Poland. But you, if you can't she take this, you will not be the Howard Stern of Poland. No, she's cracking already. She will be. Well, she, she can't take it. How is she going to get the strength? Yeah. I'm, I'm disappointed. I thought I was going to meet the Howard Stern of Poland. <laughs> and he was a woman. You know in Poland, Schindler's List is a comedy? <laughs> Do you know that, that movie? <laughs> it's, it's very true. Oh, you're too funny. That's a Polish joke. <laughs> that is not. <laughs> Ladies, broadcasting and to be the greatest is a very tough business. It is. It absolutely is. Now, when you come here... You must scream at Americans about slavery yeah. when they attack you. Right. Like that. That's right. You must come back with something. You have to learn how to. You have to learn how to fight. You know, I have. I have now enough. Uh, you don't have the stomach. You know, because no. my language is not so excellent. My language is worse than yours. Uh. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I, I, it never stopped me. You should see my grammar. <laughs> it is horrible. Horrible. Don't be offended today. Horrible. Come away. Horrible. No, I'm not horrible. Come away learning a lesson from me. She didn't realize you like her, Howard. Right. She doesn't think I like her. Oh. I'm trying to help you. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a great teacher. The lesson I have taught you <laughs> hasn't even sunk in yet. I'm, I am the greatest broadcast teacher. What I have taught you today by showing you mm -hmm. your weaknesses, you will learn to be stronger. Now go back to Poland and, and praise me and think about your great interaction with me. You have had a great you have, you have touched greatness. And don't sit around talking about safe subjects. Right. Okay. Be provocative. You seem drained from this. Wow. Yeah, she's tired. Now. She's oh, you seem very tired. Does she want a drink? <laughs> and talk about anal sex. <laughs> oh, there you go. Talk about Jews and anal sex. Yeah. All right? The Please. Church the church is going to close down the station. <laughs> you will not be closed down. Don't be afraid to broadcast. Be fearless like me. See, you came here to talk about politically correct uh, broadcasting, and look at what you're saddled with. Look at what you got. <laughs> I see you looking at me with disgust, but one day you'll because learn you know, of greatness. I was asking about this politically, political... It's a boring question. Because, you know, everyone here, when I want to say something about black people, about... Uh, well, honey, I taught you... You hear your question? Yeah. I just showed you. The answer. What I didn't tell you the about answer. Black people. What do you want to say? What do you want about the black people? I know everything about black people. I was raised with black people. I'm black. And they said, and the people used to answer, no, they are not black people. They are Afro Americans. Right. So what about I it? I cannot understand that. They're Afri They're what from Africa. What's the difference? You can't understand why they call themselves African Americans. What's the difference between black? There people is no difference. It just makes them feel better. Them. That's right. Oh, I see.
Okay. Now I know. Negro, colored, black, African American. It don't matter. But if it makes somebody feel good, they call themselves that. Mm -hmm. That's all. They've been correcting you when you say black people. Right. Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. It doesn't make a difference. Of course it doesn't make a difference. Everybody knows what you're talking it's about. It's a sensitivity issue. I do have... Oh, yeah. You understand? It's a, you, see, you guys weren't sensitive to the Jews in World War II. They had an issue, that's all. <laughs> you guys aren't that tolerant. Okay. All right. Now you've learned. Now you've learned how to broadcast. Yes. You can thank me now. Thank you, though. She's applying for internship here. She would like to be your intern. Oh, Let me okay. tell you, my interns sit at my feet. They learn all day from me. So Just like this. Some of them commit suicide. <laughs> 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 No, we've had to lock all the windows. I want to thank uh, Anna. What is the name of your station? Give it a plug. When I'm in Poland, I'll listen to it. Sorry? Nothing. The name of your station. Notice the name of your station. Inforadio. What? Inforadio. Inforadio. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> okay. Now, if I'm ever in Poland, I'll listen to it. Send me a tape. I would like to hear it. Do you like it? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to make a discussion about juice and send the tape to okay. you. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, send me a tape. About, yeah, send me something... With some balls you must, behind you it. You go back and say, I was in America, and I talked uh -huh. to this broadcaster, and he was carrying on about the Jews. What do you think of the Jews? <laughs> yeah. Call, have, you know what? If you got on the air and said, call in about what you really think about the Jews, it would be the greatest show ever. Is this country anti-Semitic? Right. But uh, you, you got you to gotta go for it, baby. But you know... Some special kind of people likes to discuss, to talk about. They got to be special. <laughs> special kind of people? I guarantee the people of Poland, they're all special. <laughs> when it comes to the Jews, they love to talk about them. No, Trust me. That. Yeah, It makes them feel better to, to unload on the Jews. All right, listen. Go back to Poland. Realize you've had an... You, you ever see the movie E.T., Extraterrestrial? Steven Spielberg? Yeah. You just had a meeting, a one in a million encounter a with a UFO. Encounter. You just had a close encounter with the world's greatest broadcaster. And I hope you learned from me. Don't don't fight me. Learn from me. This is a gift you've been given. Thank you, Father. Gary, come in and show Anna and her friend, Anne. Anna also. Anna. Anna, Anna and Anna. Anna. My lovely Anna. Lovely Anna. The two girls look good. You look like you're in nice shape, though. That's good, yeah. too. You've got a nice figure, both of you girls. Very full-figured. That's good. Believe me. Mm. If you want ratings, take off your clothes. Oh. Yeah. Let me tell you. Oh. Bye-bye, Anna. Bye -bye. Farewell. Bye -bye. Farley well. Bye bye. <laughs> you should change your radio name. What's your last name? What? What? Maroshushka. Say it into the microphone. What is your last name? Change it. I'll give you some advice. What is your name? Maroshetka. It's a very complicated. You know what you do? This is the Ukrainian one because you... my lovely husband is an Ukrainian. You want a good radio name? Yeah. And Frank Jr. Oh. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You know who that is? <laughs> what do you think of that name? Come here. Get over here. Yeah. Get the gun <laughs> no, out. She left. <laughs> she left. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my, my friends told me once, you must um, have a nickname Ginger Imbirenko. Which means? Uh, oh, this means nothing but sounds good. And Frank Jr. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's more catchy. The, 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 the Poles will love it. <laughs> They'll eat it up. They sure. oh, well. <laughs> you want ratings? Do a national search for a black person. First black person you can find in Poland wins a prize. I guarantee you that'll go on for years. I think as they were walking out the door, right. the one who speaks English a little bit better was explaining to the other one who Anne Frank is. Oh, no. yeah, they don't even know over there. <laughs> please. You mean they never saw Anne Frank's story? Please. Oh, please. <laughs> that piece of fiction? <laughs> yeah, that never happened. <laughs> That was great. Get on out and listen to your favorite polka band. Well, once again, I have entertained foreign broadcasters. <laughs> there ever Robin. was a deer in the headlights. Oh, <laughs> well, listen, she wanted to learn. I taught her. She is. That's all. She got her PhD. <laughs> she got her PhD in radio. That's all. Janelle, what is it, please? Hey, Howard. Yes. Hi. Welcome to the show. Okay. I love you, but I just have to say, I'm half black and half... um. Polish? Polish, right? Yes, yes. Wow. That, that poor girl would probably be killed if she said something like that over there. Who cares? I mean, I'm glad we're in America so we could say things, but she would probably be killed. Well, whatever. Yeah. Well, it's really funny. They come over here to talk about everything needing to be politically correct, but they can't have a discussion oh, right. about right. this. In their if, they're so, if she wants to do real radio, they'll get on and say a couple of controversial things. Yeah, yeah well, then she needs to come to America and stay. What are you, half black, half Polish? I'm half black, half Polish. What, do you steal from yourself? Oh, no, <laughs> no, shut up, Jackie. You wrote that in there, <laughs> I wrote every Polish joke on the planet. Oh, that's why they hate me. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. All right. <laughs>
<laughs> yes, Candy, go ahead. Hi. Hi. I'd just like to say that um, this broadcaster from Poland, she really needs to listen to you. She needs to take your tips, and she'd be nuts not to. Well, I'm trying to teach her. Uh, she got very offended. She wanted to walk out. Not everybody can do this. You know, it takes a big no. person. I was trying to teach her how to be a great broadcaster, uh -huh. but uh, not many people can do it. You're right. You're right. You know, I... I find a lot of similarities between you and I as far as freedom of speech of course. and freedom of opinion. Opinions. Really? Who is this? Dolly Parton? My name is Candy. Candy. I'm this from is Candy. Conway, I'm not from here, but I live in Conway, South Carolina. Honey, you know it and I know it takes a big nose well, to take out a big do? job. You know it. Candy, what do you do? What do I do? Are you a stripper? Well, I used to be, but now I'm a cashier in a convenience store. Hmm. Well, let me tell you something. Whether you're a stripper, a cashier, or a disc jockey, some people have the same mindset. You know it. <laughs> Clearly, you know we bonded. It. Yep. Thank you, Candy. Thank you. Candy says those women are stupid not to listen to me. Candy, just like you. <laughs> she's a mess if she's like me. <laughs> Wish I could get her back on the phone and ask her if I give you ten dollars <laughs> and I have to pay a dollar thirteen for something. <laughs> what's the change? Your explosion. <laughs> <laughs> no, Wait we got a, a cash register. The register. the register figures that out <laughs> for me. It's automatic. <laughs> <laughs> Thirteen, you said. I love it. In McDonald's, they even have the names of what you're buying on the register, so you don't even have to know the price of a Big Mac. You just hit the Big Mac picture. There is no room for error. <laughs> you don't even have to have to read to work at McDonald's. <laughs> Look for the picture of the hamburger. Yeah, you and bet. Press it. Damn, I wish I could get her back on the phone. Get back three big coins. Mm. Two little coins. <laughs> That's right. Reno, go ahead. I would. Reno is from Haiti. Uh, go ahead, Reno. All right, Howard. Yes. Lower How your you radio. Reno, lower your radio. It's hard to hear you. How you doing, Howard? Yeah. I love this show, you know? Thank you, brother. And listen, uh, about them two Jews, they're okay. They're good people, you know? Who, the Polacks? I mean, the yeah. Polish? Right. Yeah. No, I, I like those girls. They're fine. I, I, I got no problem with Polish people. Yeah, they're all right. They're just to themselves. I like the Poles. They are I was just trying to teach her how to be controversial, how to get on the radio and talk. They don't, they, they don't know about radio over there. Believe me, they, they didn't know about radio over here until I got on the air. They figuring out you could talk to people on the, on the telephone. Yeah, they're way behind over there. That's my point. Thank you. Okay. All right. I'm going to go listen to Reno. He's making no sense. <laughs> you know, the two Jewish girls. Jewish girls. <laughs> right with the program. No yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why people listen. What's he listening? I think they just hear me yelling and they like they it. They like it. Yeah. Got a rhythm. It really doesn't matter what I say. As long as I'm like, rah, 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 rah. I like it. It's good. Hey, you're good. <laughs> yeah, Mike, go ahead, baby. Hi. Um, I don't think, like, you know what you're talking about. The Poles did not kill the Jews. Oh. Well, Glad you corrected me. Like, I, I love you and all, right? I mean, I'm here. Sir, sure, don't, get, don't try to change history. Come on. You, 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 how old are you? I'm 15. Yeah. Well, you know, read a few books. I, I went to school for five years, Polish school. Who? What school? Polish school. Of course they didn't kill the Jews in a Polish school. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, listen. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of people all over the world that have killed us. What I was trying to make a point is, this is not an anti-Polish show. Yeah. I have many Polish listeners. The, the point is that the girl's on the radio in Poland, and she don't bring up anything controversial. What kind of show is that? Yeah, I know, but if they did, they'd get in big trouble over there. Well, of course you'd get in trouble. you get in trouble everywhere. I get in trouble. Oh, yeah, okay. Thank you. Right, Who's this, Adam Sandler? Oh. You sound like him. Like a big baby. And Adam Sandler. I wish they'd send him to Poland. <laughs> <laughs> Those movies. Go figure that out. They don't even need to go out of the country. They make money right here. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's take a break. Everybody, calm down. Obviously, that was very very upsetting. <laughs> what is it, Baba Booey? I'm just sitting out there watching John teach them about radio. Baba Booey. Oh, now John is John? teaching. Why does John have to teach them about radio? They, they were asking him, you know, how he does what he does. and What does he do? I thought, you know what? I need to hear that. Let's go hear what he does. Got it? <laughs> and then I... You know, I don't understand what John says. We had a meeting yesterday. I didn't understand one thing he said. <laughs> totally entertaining. Come on. I mean, I didn't do anything. The zero CBS people came up and said that they, the Polish people you know, wanted to ask me questions. I mean, so what did they ask you? They asked me, what the, oh, do you get a lot of Polish Jews calling from the car? Do what? Do you get a lot of Polish Jews calling from the car? You know, I don't know. They just asked me about who's calling and stuff. Oh. I don't know. Good <laughs> nice impression. You know, and then just, do you get a lot of Polish Jews calling from the car? Stuttering now? Yeah. Guy, am I far off? 
<laughs> well, you were showing them how you... How you yeah, I just said, what do you show them? What do you do? So I'm just showing people calling in. We put it up on the computer and show them. Oh, oh, I see. You're showing them the computer. Yeah, it was... Uh, showing them the process by what you know. But, but I didn't, I didn't yeah. offer... I didn't say anything was wrong. I just right. wanted to know what you were doing. We're not saying you did anything wrong. We're just saying it's funny We wanted anyway. to listen to see what you do. <laughs> it's funny that the polls would zero in on you. 6,000 miles to ask him. Yeah. Yeah. What did somebody on their level? <laughs> well, you know what he's called. <laughs> Chair of the stupid. Only because people like me better than you. Chair of the stupid. <laughs> All right, let's take a break. Everybody calm down. <laughs> now, now he's here of the Polish. All right, we'll be back right after these words. <laughs> now, can someone tell me why in 1975 we pulled our troops out of Vietnam? The failure of Vietnam invasion. I'm um, from the New York Post. <laughs> Hi, Gary. How you doing? Good. What can I do for you? I just wanted a quick quote from you. Um, what would you consider the three essential characteristics that make up good radio? Yeah, you know what? I, I can't really get into this right now because we're on the air. Try calling okay. back after the show. Okay. Uh, who should I ask for? Ask for Gary. You know what? Uh, let me give you my extension here. Okay. Just when you ask for me, yeah. uh, just tell the secretary that you're a horse-toothed jackass. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Howard... <laughs> Down, boy. It's the Howard Stern Show. That was uh, Sal the stockbroker who's out there hanging around. You know, he's in our green room busting Gary's balls. Who? Sal? Sal. Bring him in here real quick. He wants oh, to issue does. some kind of challenge. That's all he does. He just he, he just busts Gary. He went into a recording studio and recorded an album of five Christmas songs about Gary. What's he even doing here? Uh, I don't know. He loves to That's bust so Gary's boring. balls. Hey, how see what he was just doing? What was he doing? Like it is. Wait, what I was doing? Hold on. So nobody knows how to separate people is, around is here. Get on the microphone. My microphone. What? Is it his job to fix my microphone? Oh God! So nobody knows how to separate anyone around here. So we have this illusionist coming up. Yeah. This mentalist illusionist. Right. So I'm in there and I'm doing my notes. Who's this guy over here? We're looking like he's this, a mass murderer. He's from the Horse Two Jackass Haters Alliance. <laughs> now let him sit down. down. Sit down. You're making me nervous back there. All right. Listen. The bottom. The Wait. Hold on. Let me just finish the story. Now let me so, finish. So I'm in hey. there doing. I'm in there doing my job and I'm talking to this guy. His mouth is and, and, and while I'm talking to the illusionist. Was like, I'm going over his plug and everything. He's going, yeah, come on, write it down, banana boy. You big horse tooth jackass. <laughs> so the illusion is publicist is howling with laughter. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just forging ahead. Right. Trying to do your job. Yeah, just doing my job. And, and the illusionist is completely ignoring him. Sal, what did it cost you to record this album of Baba Booey songs? Uh, altogether, it really cost me about $1,500, but really? it was worth it. Yeah. You know, the reason why I'm here, I'm here for let, a let me play. Let me play a little. Let me play a little of your new sure, album. Sure. Look at this. Great. I really love it. Uh, but, but it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous to spend $1,500 to do this. I had over 8,000 well, emails I, that day. It's Howard, ridiculous. I heard... Yeah. I heard uh, from a friend of Sal's that he's good for around two fifty, three hundred grand a year. Oh, really? Okay. Obviously. How much money you your lost, you dummy? Big time. You know there's Robin and Jackie and Scott the Engineer. Howard the King got a good voice. And friend Ralph that's weird. And last but not least, the producer with big smelly teeth. <laughs> Gary the horse tooth jackass had big smelly teeth. He sure did. And, if and then he's got, uh, oh God. let's see, uh, Baba Booey. Wonderland. Wonderland. Oh, that's a great one. <laughs> Sing along at home, kids. Get your choppers out. <laughs> Just see those choppers moving like a fat cow chewing on grass. He's Howard Stern, producer, that big fat loser jacket. Do you, uh, you write these yourself? I wrote them all. I recorded wow. them all. Wow. 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 I'm coming out with Baba Booey Unplugged. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he is inspired. Do you hate Gary? Is that it? I don't hate him. You don't. It's tough love. I'm obsessed with him. It's tough love. I've taken the chimpanzee in <laughs> from the forest, and I'm looking to do good by him. A monkey nose. His breath is so bad, it'll curl your toes. Gary is a horse tooth jackass. You know what's so funny to me? What? He will put in horse tooth jackass whether it works or not. Right, right. <laughs> well, his teeth are very frightful. His breath is not delightful. He walks like a chimpanzee. Baba booey, baba booey, baba booey. You love, you love to goof on him. This is very... Serenade. This is a serenade. A love song. Smelly tea, smelly tea, smelly tea, smelly tea. Gary's a horse to check out. Let's not forget this one. This is great. That isn't even Sal, but somebody else sent that. Sal has inspired others. 
All right. Anyway, oh, yeah, so Dominic on that. The one. point about that song is that song's not insulting. Yes, I see. Gary, you are the <laughs> insult. The song's not insulting. I just amplify the fact that you're an idiot. That's all I do. I mean, so like, you people don't realize that. How this did is, he get this way? Yeah. Okay. At what hold started on, on. this? How do you? Have yeah. Any, do you have any listen, idea? You keep quiet too because I've been plugging your web page there. That boozed up joke box <laughs> in the, the back. <laughs> <laughs> and he never. I've been plugging him, and you know what he does? He emails me. Jackie emails me and says, "Bring your stockbroker friends down to see me, so he could sell his product." Meanwhile, I'm plugging his <laughs> CD, Danishes and Hamburgers, or whatever you call it. Shameless. Right. Shameless. You know, you say two words to this guy, you know, you're going to get it in the face. Okay. Right. Right. You know what's funny? Yeah. What is, what, let me. Let me. Even, move, what, what is it? Even Gary? people who've watched Sal on like the old E shows and stuff have yeah. pointed out. You know, Sal, your teeth are not all that much smaller than mine. <laughs> Let me see your and teeth. He's an ugly guy. Big, two big faces. Listen, listen, listen I mean, go, Jackie, you know what? Why don't you go find your wife on somebody's lawn? She's waving a piece of fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Keep quiet. <laughs> Oh, I bury you. <laughs> like I bury this horse tooth mule every day. Jackie, well, let me get started He's on you. He's a frightening looking man. Jackie, I don't have jokes, but don't let him do this to you. you well, because I'm Jackie doesn't want to start with him. Because I've, been, I've been hooking Jackie up. You know, I didn't buy a CD. But uh, by the way, if people do have money for Jackie's CD for Christmas, they can now convert that cash over to my CD. Right. www.com.2 backslash salthestockbroker.com. I'm obsessed with this. Yeah. The only problem is you're the only one who can remember that dumb website. <laughs> it's a little long. It is a little complicated. How about www. Right, if you, if, if you just if you just link to com dot com or marksfreegan dot com, you're in. That's basically. How about the uh, goggles dot com for your glasses there? Hey Tom, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey man, who is this guy? Who? Sal the stockbroker? He's an angry guy. He's angry at Gary. <laughs> He's just angry. What what the hell's wrong with him? <laughs> Andrea, you're on the air. That was a brain. Yes, thing. Andrea. I, I all I have to say is this guy Sal. He's the best. Thank you. You <laughs> love him. Uh, well, Yes. Almost made me crash into the wall. <laughs> yeah, well, you love his album. I'm, I'm, dr I'm driving. I'm driving to work right now. Why don't you crash your face into my genitals, honey? Come on down. <laughs> 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 Harry, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Hey, that uh, that South Stock Road, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it is, it is isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, it, to make it real simple... Go if you just go on any search box, Yahoo or Excite, type in Sal the Stockbroker or Horse 2 Jackass. And you're, uh, wait, 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 wait. You, you have say, an array of all that garbage. Jackass. Any it's search engine, you type in Horse 2 Jackass and we end up at your site? That's true. Because, <laughs> it, because if you know about search yeah. engines, they search every web page yeah. and they look for that phrase and he has it on there. I believe right. I have that trademarked. <laughs> you, can, you can also type in Horse Dentistry and you'll see Gary. Horse, horse, dentistry. horse Dentistry. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sal, why are you here today? You have some sort well, of challenge? The thing is this. I really love Jackie. Like I said, it's a, t it's a tough love effort. I mean, not Jackie. This idiot next to me, Gary. <laughs> right. The thing is, it's a tough love effort here. Okay. okay. I've taken the chimpanzee, and I'm looking to convert him from horses to this Jackus Delabatis to a normal homo sapien. All right. This is a tough love effort because the guy, he was born an idiot. He was born a big... Oh, come on. What, do you, oh, what, is, your, what is your challenge? Well, my this challenge is ridiculous. Is this. For 1999, I want Gary to be a normal human being. He's right. the producer for the top syndicated radio show in the world. He should look like a million bucks. He should be schmoozing the top figures, but instead, he looks like he looks like a mess. You want to dress him? I want this. By January 20th, Gary Delabate, the host to Jackass, must lose A, 30 pounds, B, get a in-style haircut, not that Manchi Chi mop over his forehead. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you know what's going on <laughs> in your on. head is Hold so on. amazing. He must get a razor blade and metamorphosize the eyebrows over his, eyebrow, <laughs> over his eyebrows. He must also get something. He has to look in style. I mean, how, what is the challenge? Yeah, what's the challenge, challenge is what? this. Yeah, if, he does, if he does not do that by January 20th. What do you want him to do? Lose 30 pounds? Lose 30 pounds, get, get a, a haircut. Yeah, complete the Baba Booey makeover All by right. January 20th. It, You're saying if Gary can't lose 30 pounds by January 20th. And a new haircut. And a new, new haircut. Look, yeah, what's going what to happen? This is what's going to happen. Horse 2 Jack is Hater Alliance. Cartman, he has to wear this shirt. On the day of the 20th. <laughs> now, what does Gary get if he What's loses 30 me? pounds? Well, I'll explain that right after this. All right. It says Horse Tooth Jackass. So, Gary would have to walk around wearing I Love Sal the Stockbroker Horse Tooth Jackass t-shirt. Right. And he, on the day of the 20th, he has to shine my shoes in the studio with the Horse Tooth Jackass shoe shine. But why is that? A, what is in it for What's Gary? What's in it for me? You get the loose weight. That what's in it for you is that you will no longer be humiliated, berated, bad. Dude, I won't. Dude, are you, dude, are you, you saying? Wait a second. Are you saying if Gary loses thirty pounds by January twentieth, you will no longer berate him ever? He look like a normal human. Will you take now, down your web page and you will you eliminate all the songs? I could care. You know less. what? You could. I could you care. Know, you know what? Because you, you have the self-esteem of a, 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 a,
You know what? The thing is, I, I'm here to motivate this big lip smoke. You said for the three Look, times a year that you. I don't think you can lose the 30 pounds. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I don't, I'm certainly not going to lose it for Sal. Well, it wasn't torn that That was Jackie's wife's phone number, by the way. Just threw it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, All right, so you're saying you're not motivated to take the challenge? I, I'm trying to lose weight, but it ain't for yeah. Sal. Lose and I'm not going to. I'm not going to clip your eyebrows off and wear his ass. Uh, uh, this dopey <laughs> oh, sweatshirt. Produces for <laughs> twenty years, and he still curses. All right, uh, Sal. Obviously, you are you're, you have been denied your request. Of course, because the it's man, a listen, dumb challenge. Now, you tell be, you how why. do you make money it's, in the stock market? It's listen, a dumb challenge. You know, like any other typical monkey out there, you just can't train him in one day. I got to take this guy in a room in a cage <laughs> with a whip and a chair <laughs> and beat him over, and then in six All weeks right, you'll you're do it. saying that you would be it. offering to stop making fun of Gary. I'm looking to convert him from. Horse to Jack is to Homo sapien. That's what he I'm must, looking to do. You know Doesn't what he realize? Hold on. He must second. not be getting you anything the on that website. Stock. Then he'd have no life. Otherwise, he wouldn't be willing to take it down. You he are the laughing stock. No hits on his dumb website. Yeah, right. He must not be selling anything on his dumb CD. Otherwise, why that, would he be willing to take it down? That's according to Gary. Meanwhile, I got already 8,000 orders thanks to your big exactly. flappy gun. Let me tell you something about him. <laughs> Jack was at a Jets game last order. week. Right. Let me tell you this story. Yeah. Idiot friend about this ass-faced orangutan here. Right, right. Uh, Howard, he has 8,000 orders. I'm hooking up with him. Yeah, go ahead. Hamburgers and Danishes over there. You go ahead. He was at a Jets game last week. He was standing online to go to the bathroom. And there was a bunch of guys around. They were throwing peanuts at him. And they were calling him a horse to a Jets. No, it wasn't a bunch Let of guys. Finish. It was his He's friend. He's back on those big teeth. Give me a second here. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get a whip and a chair out. Stop it. Anyway. So anyway, my buddy... <laughs> Gary's, Gary's there all by himself. He's looking for a bathroom for animals, which they don't have, so he stands on the men's line. <laughs> yeah. right? And my buddy comes over to him, and right. he's standing by the concession stand. He goes, hey, Gary. He goes, they're out of bananas, but if you like, I can give you some peanuts. So Gary just gets all red and stuff. He's all by himself. <laughs> that's not, that's not that is completely unequivocally 100% true. Give me two seconds. So your, your friend is throwing peanuts at Gary? No, not my friend. Right. Everybody is throwing peanuts at Gary. They're calling yeah. him a horse to Jack. As Gary's all by himself, and my buddy goes, hey, they're out of bananas, but I'll give you a bag of peanuts if you like. So Gary goes, what are you, friends with Sal the Stockbroker? What does he think? He's going to sell that CD? Meanwhile, the CD is selling like crazy. And you know why it's selling? Because you are the biggest goof in the entertainment can, industry ever in the can, world. Can, you were an ass-faced orangutan. Just give me two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> me two. Here's what happened. I'm standing at the jet game. The guy Shine my to shoes, me. Oh, boy. Love with him, the guy Howard. walks over to me and yeah. says, hey, I'm friends with Sal the Stockbroker. And I go, that idiot? And he starts telling me about Sal CD. But in the meantime, I have a nice conversation with the guy. shake his hand. Right. He walks away. I'm standing there minding my own business. There's a group of guys, of which this guy's in the middle, and I hear him yelling at the top of his lungs, Horse Tooth Jackass! <laughs> it's just this one guy. Right. Just that screaming Horse Tooth Jackass. After I was just nice to him. Uh, the guy was turning his head going, what, what, what can I do? For all right, look, obviously this is way out of control, your obsession with well, Gary. Well, if you want me to raise the stakes, this is what I will do. Okay. I'll, this is what I will do. I will raise the stakes to motivate this mule. And by doing so, <laughs> I have plenty of fans out there like that girl who wants to rub her face into me and everything else. All right. If people, as well as, you know, maybe the bloated attorney, will, will, will willing to put up $5,000 on my behalf from the horse to jackass haters yeah, so you don't want to do anything. I will give Gary. I've done enough. I've put you into the spotlight. Now stop right. it. You're too kind. <laughs> anyway, um, if they're willing to put up $5,000, a few callers, a few record companies, whatever it may be, my supporters, then they will be part of the Horse to Jackass Haters Alliance. And you know what happens? Well, Gary fails to realize that he will be a normal human being. You will have a nice trim belly. You will have decent teeth. If you want to trim your teeth, that's a bonus for your family. That's a different story. All right. But, and that's all right, it. All right, look, look. Gary obviously doesn't feel not motivated. In any challenge because he has the self-esteem of a barnacle on a fart. That's why. I mean, look at the guy. He's not motivated. They can't all be winners, Sal. All right. All it's right. a shame. It's, it's really a shame. All right. He, he runs out of steam, Howard. All right, let's. Uh, you let's, went out of breath. Here's Melrose Larry Green wants to talk uh, to Sal. Another one of my Sal, lovers. You're a total jerk. Why is he a jerk? Now, Sal, don't interrupt. Just shut up. You don't know anything about uh, Gary. You don't know anything about this radio. Guy's a, guy's a mental patient. This First of all, mess. Sal, why don't you do something original? You steal my idea. I did a Christmas album three years ago. Yeah, and you know what? And the fans are calling in every Ooh. day about it. They love it. How it's playing it I all day. You don't have one order. Are you paying? Oh, are you paying? Don't stop at the clinic. You washed up, shriveled piece of garbage. Are you paying royalties, Sal? What? You steal somebody else's listen, music? Listen, that is a good question. Are you, listen, pay, are you paying royalties on the karaoke listen, music you're using? Listen to me. Uh -oh. Why don't you come down here and slap like you with, I'll listen. slap you with my you ass cheek, you shriveled bum, listen. you. Beat it. Shut up, Sal. You know nothing about radio. He's probably got oh, more cease and desist than Gary has teeth. Take me on, loser. Leave Gary alone, loser. I'll beat you with my ass cheek. I'll off his mother. You shriveled up bum. I'll slap Gary. Gary, discover me. Go ahead. Gary's the best producer on the radio, you loser. Hey, listen, why don't you pluck one of Gary's teeth and put a sign on that and hang out around. funny, stupid stockbroker. Okay, yeah, everybody's really coming to your web page. All right. Hey, listen, Sal. Listen, Sal. I interviewed Johnny Cochran yesterday. My eardrums. I interviewed Master P. Do something for the show, Sal. You're getting old. I have a challenge that would be a little bit more interesting.
interested in. All right, go ahead. I would like, if you want me to wear that stupid shirt, I'd, like to, do so, I'd like to do something more like where I get something out of it. Like, okay. like I'd like to box out. Oh, you would? Oh, yeah. Ah. And if you lose, oh. you'll wear the oh. shirt. Yeah, like, oh. I don't care if I take a couple of shots, cause just because I really want to hit him. All the grease right. on your hair, my my gloves would slide right off of that greasy face so of yours. So you're not going right, to take that shot? Of course not. How hard would Gary hit his shot? That's oh, I think shit. Gary would knock him out. Like Ten years <laughs> of All he has to do is whip his belly my way. That's yeah. all he has to Chicken. do. <laughs> you, you, see, you notice the way you shot him, Sal? Faggot. faggot. I'd rather be a faggot than practice bestiality like your wife. Uh, no, 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 no. It's wearing thin, Sal. It's wearing thin. It ain't working. Not like your lips. Sal, let you me kick your ass. Issue the challenge, <laughs> Sal. Let me bitch slap you in the way you're accustomed. Yeah, bitch slap. Address the challenge. You gotta be kidding me. You're the biggest Listen, walking Address the challenge. Around. Address Put the on challenge. Address the donkey douchebag, you. Hey, there's no way. Look, if you want to do this, I'm looking just to better you. That's it. That's the I'm looking one. to make you a little better, too. I'm looking, lose, to, I'm looking to fix your nose. Pounds. Look, I don't understand this. How? Of course you know, because it's something it. you can't, can't deal with all this. Stop it now. Yeah. Slow down, monkey yeah. boy. Yeah. Hang it. Slow down. Yeah. Just let me yeah. kick yeah. your yeah. ass. Look, the bottom line Adam, is this. Why don't you kick my ass? Adam. Kick it for me. Come I'm on. I'm kicking your ass verbally every day. You get it with referees. I'm kicking your ass verbally every day. Look, you were born with a foot up your ass. You have to fight, and if Gary loses, he also, not only does he have to wear the shirt, he has to lose the 30 pounds, he has to do everything else. I am Gary's oh, I'll tell you what, I'll wear your, I'll wear your dumb shirt, Listen and I'll get on the air every day for a week, Listen. and I'll say, go to Wells, Sal's website, uh -huh. I hail him, I'll say whatever you want. That's like asking Gary to fire down his teeth. It can't be done. Just let me no. kick your ass. Uh -huh. Listen, the, bo no, the bottom line is this. <laughs> if I am, uh -huh. He'll wear the shirt if he gets the kick. I am, yeah, I, I just, yeah. I'll tell you what, let me kick Damn. your ass, and I'll wear the shirt. I don't have to win or lose. Hang it. Listen to me. Exactly. I am Gary's mentor. <laughs> I am him. not Gary's boxer. Right. I, I think here. I've exposed you for the homo that you what are. What is it, uh, Stuttering John? Oh, Sal, I can't believe you're a wuss and you wouldn't fight a, Gary. Out of all, of all the of things you do to Gary, you won't fight him. You are That's the biggest wuss you start ever seen. with me, otherwise... Uh, Sal, I cannot I believe after all you've done with Gary, you <laughs> won't not. fight him. <laughs> this fat bass is willing to fight you and you won't even do it. All right. Well, there it is. enough of that guy. I hear so hard to make the whole family cry. Really. Marco, what is it, please? You might have the last word on this. Go ahead. Marco. Hey, how you doing, Harry? All right, Gary, quickly. I'm willing to put up 50 grand saying you could do it. It's got to come out of yes. money, though. There we go. This guy's Wait, from the Wall Street Jackets. This mind. guy don't have any he's, money. Well, he's betting Sal's money. Yeah, yeah great. <laughs> if Sal had it, Probably he'd be putting it up. Wait a minute. All right, look. Uh, Apparently, Gary has declined on my challenge. I'll leave it at that. I think I've over here. Time out. I think I've exposed the pussy here today. No, you, yeah. right, listen, listen. Sal, you have your Christmas album. Right. Gary is not interested in your challenge. You are obviously not interested in Gary's challenge. Okay. Next time, Pussy wear a boy. dress when you come in. Sal. Right. Exactly. Why don't we leave it at that? We'll take a break. Sally. We Listen. come back. Uh, Sally. Once again, hold on. Sally. Ah, <laughs> Sally. Hey, that's what your wife calls me when I had Sally. a bent over last take you, night. Take Sally you the homemaker. I was, high, I was high five in Shaquille O'Neal while I had your wife bent Sally over last night. Sally the homemaker. Sally. Sally the homemaker. Take you and your puss boy for being Like some new jokes for 99. Sally the homemaker.com. Kick your ass too. Anyway. What are you saying? Get on that microphone. What are you saying? Get on the I'll kick your ass too. You're going to kick my ass? Well, this I get this guy is sure. the president of the horse. Right what is he? What is he? Oh, hey, get on the microphone. Get on the microphone. Get on the microphone. Get on the microphone. Microphone. No, no, no. Get I wasn't saying anything. This guy, you, you know what? You know what I'll do? Come on. I'll have Hold on, hold on. Let me talk to you first. What is he? What is he? ring with you. I'll get in a ring with you. No ring will do it right now. No, no wait, wait a minute. minute. If Gary doesn't do it, I I'll have the president of the horse to check I want to be honest. Oh, I'm, I'm missing this, Sal. Yeah. What is going on between you and Gary? I don't know. He just said he's going to Put on the mic. You get on the microphone. Put on the mic. Get on. Get on the mic. Wait, you, you, you came in here to take ass. a shot at me. You can't take it? Uh, did I take a shot at you? Oh, you, are you holding up a sweatshirt Boxing. that says Gary's a gorilla Boxing. boy? Boxing. Yeah, two big pussies. Yeah. Right. Come on, we'll get, get on the microphone. It's easy for you to say that right now. I'll fight you right now, right here in front but of all your buddies. But why can't you get in the ring? Because I don't need you to prepare. Why? You can do this why right here, right now. Why don't you need uh, to prepare? Why don't you want to fight right now? I don't want to fight right now. I want to let you have a little bit. I don't need it. I don't need any head here. Gary, I don't need any head here. Trust me. Two of these guys. Nobody. I'll fight him right now. I'll fight him right now. Well, obviously, we can't do it right now. If he can't do it, I'm not even You want to get in the ring with Gary? I'm not allowed to have a street fight with you, but I can have a fight in a ring with you. Right. I would get in trouble with the company if I fought you. But I'll get in a ring with you. I have no problem. Just throw a banana. Get on the mic. I'm getting a ring with you. Are you taking Gary's challenge? No, he's just looking at me. He can't believe it. No, because I can't. Or, no, because <laughs> Sal, you I, I came in here to do what? Yes, you came here to do what? Wait, 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 wait. Not the F word. No, no. Not the F word. You came Please. in here to pile on Gary with no. Sal. Tell the truth. Did I say anything? But let him talk. Let him talk. Let him talk. Was I saying anything? What were you doing? Was I saying anything? What were you doing? Was I saying anything? No, you weren't saying anything. Was I saying anything? No, you weren't. Okay, now the next question. What were you doing? Was I saying anything? What were you doing? So you want to kick my ass? Kick it right now. I said I'd get in the ring. Take it right now. He's There's not no allowed ring. to fight There's you no
Oh, so no, get, on, get on the mic. I don't need to get on no, the mic. Don't, no. Get on the mic. I can't hear you. Also, I should love him for that. You don't. Do, you don't do anything wrong to me. You're just president of the horse tooth. Can I have a joke to you? Have I ever made a joke to you? Let me ask you. Gary doesn't lose weight. Shut up. Are you proud to be president of the horse tooth jackass fan club? Absolutely. Then that's why I'm pissed at you. Okay. Does that make sense there to you? you? So Does that you make know sense? What? I don't understand. So right right what way is it? You can see why. What's your first name? Doesn't matter what my first Just name is. Say it's Jimmy. Right Say to me, right how now. would you like it if I was president? What I'm wearing, look at what, what you're wearing. With Gary. And what does that you're not a man, anything? you're a monkey. Because you're, you're representing Howard Stern's show. And you're re representing the Horse Tooth Jackass fan club. Good work. I look a lot better than you. Excellent, excellent. Listen, Gary, you must be very proud. He'll box you. You must be very proud. Check my ass. That's it. My ass. Stay. No, box no, no boxing. No boxing. Wait, wait, wait. No, no boxing. Against street, 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 I'll street fight. Why are you against boxing? No, no. You box him. You box him. I'll street fight him. Mm. Why? 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 What do you want to do? Why? What difference does that make? You're the one who said it. But why can't you box me? I don't want to box you. But why? Right now, right now. But why right now? Why? Why two weeks from now? Why box? Why do we have to box? What is two weeks? It's the hair more civilized, and I get trouble. Well, I'm not civilized like you, Gary. Well, I'm out of civilized person. Then maybe I should All be president right, of the horse tooth jackass fan should. club. All right, wait a second. Any bananas would be a gorilla. Okay. You no, know, I guess hot. I guess you held up a shirt that said Gary was a horse tooth yeah. jackass, right? Yeah, you're you don't think he is modeling it for me. Oh, but don't on. you think that that's insulting to Gary? He's an accessory. Absolutely, it absolutely is. That is yeah, absolutely. So, so why are you be insulted? Why are you shocked that I'm insulted? You seem to be shocked. But, but I wasn't saying anything, it's first of all. And then, what does that then mean? you brought me into it. I was sitting here minding my own business. Then you brought me into it. I'll kick his ass, too. Isn't that what you said? I'll kick I, his I ass, I absolutely too. said that because you okay, and Sal so my ass. You and Sal are part of the same idea. So kick my ass. Get in a ring. Let's do Let's it. Let's do it right now. Yeah. Let's get in a ring. Why in a ring? Come on, why won't you get him in the ring? ring? Why in the ring? Do you know, right now. There's no ring. There's no ring. All right, all right. I'm not Geraldo Rivera. I'm not Geraldo Rivera. I'm not Geraldo Rivera. I'm not Geraldo Rivera. If you brought a ring in tomorrow, I'd get it. I'd get it tomorrow. I don't, listen, I don't even know if I'd kick the guy's ass, but I wouldn't mind taking a few swipes at him. Right. right. I, I can't tell you I'll kick his ass, but I'll just do it right now. Take a shot at him. I'll take a shot at him right now. Gary, you are a man. Gary cannot find a ring. He has to find a cage. <laughs> I think this guy might be pissed off. He is pissed off. I How can he not be? Look at you. He doesn't want to fight either. How can he not be? He doesn't want to fight. He's All right, a girl. Look, listen. I don't want to wait. Can I, I say don't something, please? Wait. Right, I don't listen. want to wait. I can't get in a ring. Sal, do me a favor. Next time you come in, <laughs> let your friends in on the joke. Yeah. You're the joke. They're, they're I know, right on he, it. He's not getting the joke. Listen, no, no, no. This is no this joke for him. No joke. He's yeah, not he, joking. He it's listen, serious. listen. Uh, this guy. <laughs> hey, you know how hard it is to get a president for a horse and jacket state as long as you think he's going to be a senior? What's the matter with your wife's All right, all right. Look, look, look. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. All right, wait. Dominic wants to get in on it. I'll fight Dominic. All right, Dominic, go ahead. Gary, let's get him after school today. What do you want, Dominic? Say it quickly. February 1st. Yeah. I put up five thousand dollars for the win in a ring. Give Gary eight weeks to train. I'll take either one of you guys. All right, we'll get the president of the Horse Two Jackets Haters Alliance on January twentieth. If Gary doesn't lose thirty, what are you, what are you making well, him the fight for? Yeah. He's the president. I like that. Yeah. 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 So, so, let me read you know I tell you what, Sal, you fight him. Yeah, let me. Yeah. Listen, I will be. Hold on. Let me smash you in your giant. Hold on. Hold on. I will be the ring announcer. Of course you will. I will be the ring announcer and the referee. He's gonna put you in the fighting for you. You ring announcer. That's Latin for pussy. Wait a minute. Listen, he will do it. No, Sal's going to be locked up for using those songs illegally. Look at this. Oh, Jimmy, you, should no, you, you should see what's going on. Wait a minute. I'm going to I'm going to put him up boxing. Why would you box let, uh, let, let, let Dominic the Somebody want to chew me? I put up 5000 and you put up 5000 each. The winner gets 10000 And he'll box you February 1st. How about it? Come on. Why don't you use that 10000 go out to dinner tonight? All right, look, look. This is getting crazy. Gary's turning it down. All right, listen, listen, listen. Oh, yeah, I'm turning it down. All right, listen. Good comedy show. So. Listen, listen. This has gotten way out of control. Guys. Way out of control. Half hour ago. <laughs> I love it, but it's way out of control. Everybody talks uh, about fighting. Uh, well, all I want Sal, the stockbroker, is declining Sally. Gary's offer to box. Gary's Sally. declining my offer to you shine my shoes no. and wear my sweatshirt. No, and Sally. be Jimmy, a normal Jimmy's human being. Sitting right. in the corner getting real pissed off. Right. And <laughs> Sal's friend, who is nameless, yeah. is saying... He will street fight Gary right now. <laughs> Gary wants to box him. Sal said that his friend would box Gary, but his friend says, hey, Sal, you go box him. Right. <laughs> Am I correct? Absolutely. All right. Street fight him right now. You will street fight uh, him right now. Right now. Right now. In a Barney the, suit. In a suit. Right now you'll in fight him. Absolutely. Absolutely. You'll in put a, a Barney a, suit on? Well, I'm wearing my Barney suit. All right. Oh, in a, I thought you meant the, uh, the purple dinosaur. All right. Okay, Everybody look. Confused.
This is no very confusing. Fire. Anyway, I just want to say to the fans, I'm sorry that the horse two jackass declined on my offer. Oh, okay. well, Sally, you be quiet. Sally. Hey, listen, you chocolate cackler, you be quiet. I'm talking right now. <laughs> it's Sally, Holy you're cow. Sally, the Sally, the homemaker. Sally, the homemaker. Really? Hang on. Keep coming. Keep it coming. I love it. All right. Fantastic. So Sal. Anyway, thank you for playing the songs. Thank you for coming in. So, did this turn out the way you'd hoped? <laughs> Uh, you know, you, not really. Exactly. We I knew you would turn me down, down because... What is it, Mario? What do you want? Why doesn't Gary kick his ass? This guy's so annoying. Well, Ga mean, Gary wants to so kick his ass. Pizza, Mario. Gary why wants to kick his ass. Hey, Mario. Why? Why don't yeah. you check up on the pizzas already, okay? Keep quiet, yeah. beat it, kick his ass. Yeah. What's the matter with you? Sal, why, why don't you put on a bikini? Yeah. <laughs> if Gary loses, I'll put on a bikini and I'll hold up a sign loses that the horse two jack has defeated Sal the stockbroker and I'll walk down the street. Loses and what? people can pelt lose eggs. What? The boxing match? This is what I'll do. You can line up the streets with people with eggs that can pelt forget eggs at me in my underwear forget on the street. Sal, forget about 40 phone calls. Be a man. It's not a question of being be a man. man. I am a man. You're a monkey. That's the issue. I don't fight animals. That's the bottom line. This is not the old days where you wrestle all alligators and bears. I'm not going to wrestle a monkey in the ring. Hey, Sal, maybe you should challenge Hey, Jackie, so maybe, you, maybe you should keep to the jokes, okay? Because yeah, that's the only thing going for you right now because your CD blows. Now keep quiet. Hold on one second here. You and that orange marble. I'll give your wife an orange marble. How about an olive? Don't get Everybody got to calm down. Bring Sal a barbie. I just got to say one last thing. I can't believe Jimmy is shocked that I'm mad at him. I can't no, believe no, it. You understand why. You didn't say nothing. Jimmy, get on the microphone. Jimmy, yeah. Yeah, Jimmy. You understand why Gary's I mad at you. I down here more. just to show the, show the, uh, you know, T-shirt. I didn't think I was doing nothing wrong. You're doing everything <laughs> Sal said. You're his butt. Yeah. 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 You could understand why Gary would be upset, right? Right. <clears throat> Absolutely. Right, okay. I just marched the people into the oven. I didn't touch Jackie. You should... Mind your business, because you're sitting over there. Jackie, you'll kick, you'll kick Jackie's, Jackie's ass, ass, right? I'm going to show you. Jackie, you like Jackie's, like a, Jackie's nothing. Without you, 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 Jackie's like, nothing. You, you, look like, nothing. you look like a pretty tough guy, though. I mean, no, I'm not a tough guy. That's nothing to do with it. He's a psycho. But he, he yeah. came out and just said, I'll kick his ass. And You've I been insulting him since you walked in here. You're not smart enough to know that. Jack Guy, was I insulting you? I mean, honestly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but how can you not? Dude, how can you not insult you? Held up a sweatshirt. You are the president of the horse tooth jackass <laughs> fan club. And haters really really alive. And you, really you think that I should think that's funny? If Absolutely. you walked through Harlem, hold up a sign that said "I hate blacks," you haven't said anything either. What if somebody came over and slugged yeah. you? You'd say. Well, I didn't do nothing. Well, your wife held up a sign at home and said, I love blacks. I know, What's the problem with that? Your wife. Tell me your wife. <laughs> All right, listen, well, guys. Fight this, my has wife, gotten, you woman. this has gotten way out of here. <laughs> this right. has gotten way out of here. You know what? <laughs> Uh, Gary has declined. I want to thank the fans. Yeah, I want to I thank declined. you for playing the song. All right, that's all. And and declining. We'll thank Jimmy, the president of the Horse Two Jackass yeah, fan club. Right. Sal the stockbroker. Put on your tooth to your yeah. faggot. Yeah, go home to your husbands. Gary, thank you. You man, you, you yeah. came in here. You you talked to these guys. All right, whatever. Listen, I just want everyone to know. You know, the CD has wonderful prank calls, wonderful songs on it. www. Come dot to backslash Sally the dot com, yeah. and there's right. no promotion for a Jackie CD. You will all be spared. You see, you're going, going tin any day. Bruce Home from uh, Gleason's gym is on the phone. He oh, wants to fight hey, over there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's send him down now, Bruce. Yeah, hello. You over at Gleason's? Yeah. Hey, anyway, you want Gary to fight? I tell you what, I'll walk Absolutely. over tomorrow. I'm, I'm not even in shape. I'll go over tomorrow. For the you, fight. What was that? We'll get Gary to lose some weight and get him in condition for the fight. Yeah. He doesn't yeah, we'll care. He doesn't need to be a good dude. He wants to fight now. Well, yeah. bring him over. We'll put it on right now. Let's go. Let's get cool. going. <laughs> I'll be going. Go. He hits that guy. He goes, let's go. <laughs> of course. All right. Listen, I, I don't think Sal, these guys are fighting Sal, I beg of you. Gary, I beg of you. I beg of you. Let me kick your ass. You know what? I'll, I'll do you. one better than that. I'll do one better than that. Yeah, you'll let me fight your friend. No, I'll let you breathe your breath on my face. That will knock me out. Just let me kick your ass. I tell you what, we'll put a one trick on. Let him settle in the ring and nobody will get hurt. So you have been exposed for the pussy that you are. Absolutely and unequivocally not. This is not that type of challenge. This is not a challenge. Like I said, I am not fighting a monkey. This is not a man versus animal type. All right, let's let's call it. Bruce, Bruce, thank you for the offer. Howard, do you realize something? Do you realize that the ASPCA is after me for animal cruelty after I made those Christmas songs? Really? Yeah, they said, how right. dare you put down a monkey? Sal, uh, I want to thank you uh, for thank coming you, in. Howard. Jimmy, or whatever your name is, thank you for coming in. <laughs> President Horse 2 Jackass. And Gary, thank And you. I want to thank Gary for not doing this. This way I can continue to badger him, berate him, call Zeus to inquire about him, and make songs and about so him. Right. Thank, thank you, you very week. much. All right, thank you very much. Bye -bye. There we go. There go the boys. They're leaving now. Everybody leave. Everybody, no <laughs> Everybody is... Everybody is... <laughs>
Obviously, this got way out of hand. Uh, way out of hand. Oh, All right. <laughs> Everybody's putting on their coat. Jimmy had to take off his coat yeah, to fight he Gary. <laughs> he was already uh, undressed. I, I, I didn't say nothing about fighting. I didn't do nothing. nothing. <laughs> 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 Guido, thank you, guys. Thank you, Howard. All right. You are the best. I'll just hear. Thank you, Sal. All right, there goes Sal. Sal, take your stuff. No, Sal, challenge. I'm doing a radio show. What's the matter? Take your stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like she has nothing to do with any you know, of these songs. it's almost like she went and got a Casio. Yeah, right. I think she even writes these things? No. That's what I mean. Fucking he's crying. Like Madonna writes a lot of her own stuff, doesn't she? Yeah. yeah. I could at least dig that. Like Cher stopped by the session. Mm. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, right. She came in, laid down a few tracks and split. Yeah, did the scales and left. <laughs> Where do I go? What do I say? <laughs> what are the lyrics? <laughs> right. So which one is the big hit that supposedly oh, sold see. 4 million copies in England? Check on that. Yeah. Yes. Let me hear that. England's weird. Nobody said it would. Nobody should. You do a Cher impression, don't you? If I could turn back no, I mean this thing. This song, I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was really bad. Not hip on her new stuff yet. I think Fred sounds better than this. <laughs> sounds like Kraftwerk. It reminds me of when the Pet Shop Boys got a hold of Liza Minnelli. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of like what this is. Yeah. That kind of is. It definitely. I've been standing out in the rain. See, I can see this selling in England. So now I know what happened to her face. She's been standing out in the rain. <laughs> she come back in the rain. <laughs> she wouldn't come on our show. Of course not. No. Gary, like, put in a request, and the publicist goes, <laughs> Cher's schedule has been, you know, firm for the last few months. How dare you? Oh, oh well, like, you're not even supposed <laughs> to ask. So Gary goes, well, how are we supposed to know her schedule's firm? And how, we didn't even know she was making a schedule a few months ago. Right. So, hey, we're just calling to see if she wants to come on. And they were like, no. Like, angry. Angry that we even called. Like, you idiots. Why would we do your stupid show? Like, like any other stupid show, that makes more sense. But she guess, doesn't want to sell albums here. No. Asking my audience to boycott this album. Oh. Not, not, that, not that they're not <laughs> yeah, going to anyway. It's not a tough one, huh? <laughs> we don't put up too many hard challenges. I think you could live without having this one in your collection. There you go. You know this is going to turn... a rock and roll share? Was there ever a rock and roll share? Sure. Oh, she's rapping. You remember Black Rose? I miss Sunny. Oh, yeah, there was a rock and roll share. Oh, God, what is this? Jackie's lighting up his pot cane. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Mis sabios de pesca. Beautiful. I gotta go out and buy this. You need Sunny <laughs> to pick the music. <laughs> Sunny went skiing, hit a tree real hard. Sunny went skiing, he hit a tree real hard. It was an embarrassing way to go. I knew he was a schmo, but I miss him. Uh, yeah, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Sunny went skiing, hit a tree real hard. Yeah. See, she, 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 I would have collaborated. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not even Cher could like this out. Yeah. Sunny went skiing and hit a tree real hard. Now I can love him alive, he was a dick. When he was alive, I called him an a-hole on Letterman. But now that he's dead, I really dig him. Yeah. Thank you. How's that? Pretty good, right? Better than this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Be cool if she, you know, really sang something that meant something. About Sonny being a dick when he was alive. Yeah, where is that song? Well, that's right. Yeah. Sonny kept me locked up pretty much under his thumb when we worked on the Sonny and Cher show. But now, I have my freedom. <laughs> I'd buy that. 
All right. You got you got the idea? I got to hear one more at least. Wow, you're really into this. <laughs> oh, she likes it. There gotta, there's got to be a good song on the album. Oh, no. It's called My Daughter's a Fag. No! The day my daughter came out, I was aghast. Sonny was for it, but I couldn't accept it. <laughs> when Chaz told me she was gay, I freaked out. But Sonny said it was okay, which took me by surprise, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what are these instrumentals? Yeah. Well, you don't, you don't understand today's music like Cher does. It's time to walk up to the podium. Is <laughs> it time to undress? I'm a little slow. Chaz told me she was gay. I freaked out. Even though I'm very All liberal. Oh. I think my lyrics are better. I think so. And, and you start sooner, so I like it. Yeah, I mean, I don't make you wait for the bad lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> I get right into them. Yeah, you know, once you be like, Chaz is gay. Yeah. You know, Sonny was a creep. Those would be good songs. My daughter's a fag. I wonder if Elijah Blue will ever be anything. Yeah. yeah. You never hear about Elijah Blue. In the east of the What did my daughter do? I'll do it. All right, this is called Poison in My Face. Oh. 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 I like it. Oh. I got poison shot into my face. I went to the doctor, he told me it'd be okay. Now my face is frozen, frozen like a rock. What do you think? I like it. All right, so there you go. Three songs. My daughter's a fag. I, I got used poison. To be a babe. <laughs> it's hard getting old. Got the first three singles. Mm. She should have. She should have talked to me. I'm telling you. I'm a good songwriter. Yeah, sing about what you know. Yeah. <laughs> the first time I went to the doctor. He gave me like a nose job and made my lips big, and I got a breast lift, and I, I look good. I got addicted to plastic surgery. Yeah. As the years went by, I, they had mentioned something called Botox, <laughs> and this could freeze my face. But no more wrinkles for me. I don't know if she has Botox or not. I think that's the song that was the hit. Mm. That was Joan Rivers speculating. I've heard rumors. <clears throat> Whatever cares what she does <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of cool songs she could have written at 16 i banged warren Beatty. he pulled me over in a car i saw her on one interview the um who was it katie kirk says to her so like you have many wild stories in your book even though you're not calling an autobiography tell us about the time you made love to warren Beatty. okay now it wasn't even that kind of it was like tell us the time how you met warren Beatty. Cher goes i will not well, couldn't she write about it? So Katie goes, well, it's sort of in your book. And, and uh, well, no, I, I really don't feel comfortable talking about it. She goes, oh, I see. You want people to buy the book. She goes, no, that's not it. <laughs> it's none of your business. No, she goes, <laughs> she goes, listen to this explanation. She says, you know, there are many, many stories in this book. You're choosing the most sensational one, and you're making it seem like this is the only story in the book. And I'm going to oh, tell you something, goodness. she says. She goes, this book is not filled with juicy stories. In fact, they're rather mundane. They're rather, you know, I'm going, boy, oh, this is well, a way. there you go. Sell that you book. Know, this is a way to buy a book. It's really not about that. It's boring. Yeah. That's what she was she's saying. It's not even that interesting. This is the only interesting story in there. So Katie Kirk was like, okay. All right. You know, what do you want? It's your book. It's your book, honey. You had to go pick out something good. That must be go some book. somebody else interesting. Oh, my God. Next. She's such a disturbed woman, this share. It's sad. And I was like, well, you wrote about it. What do you want me to interview you about, you wacko? <laughs> could you give me a list of questions you'd like to be asked? Well, how stable could you be if she's shooting Botox into her face? And, and ah. whatever else she's done. If she, she's certainly done something to those lips. Yeah. You can't tell me she didn't do that. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. They oh, look please, They look odd. Look at the, uh, the old pictures of Cher. Hmm. How, your lips don't grow. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe as you get older, your lips grow. They say your ears grow. <laughs> I don't know what she did to her face, but whatever she did, done something it's odd it's youthful but not really not really yeah it looks like a mask now she's mask she's the mask <laughs> she could do that movie all over again yeah uh, well effer <laughs> cares do this show yeah now she looks like sunny 
A little bit. After he hit the tree. <laughs> and then she had like, the, she was on with Katie Kirsch, she had a bad wig on, like a, like bangs and something. Right, yeah, she's wearing wig. the bangs again. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know. I can't wait till Madonna hits that wall. She was a She's gorgeous woman who just destroyed herself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the only broad that I could tell that really did something good with plastic surgery was Ivana Trump. Yeah. You know, she looked great after yeah. her surgery. Ivana looked terrible before the surgery. Right. She looked great afterwards. Yeah, that really worked on her. Because I used to look at her and say, how could Donald Trump have married her? Whoever did her was good. But she got a great job done on herself. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Because <laughs> she well. did the right thing. She didn't try to go against her natural self. I guess. So if you have small lips, why try to get them blown up to be big lips? My theory is you have to start out as a pig. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. And then. Ivana was a lot of model. Bushy. I didn't was know that. A model. All right. I think that she was starting to age badly. I see. And they recovered that. They sure did. <laughs> she looks great. All right. Anyway, uh, what do I know? What do I know? I know nothing. I don't know what Cher did. Maybe she did nothing. Oh, yeah. Well, look, uh, I can't <laughs> tell you what she did. We're going to take a break. We'll come back. No, not like us. You don't want me speaking like this. I'm toilet mouth. Hey, um, also Saturday night, don't miss it. The most downloaded woman on the Internet. <laughs> Cindy Margolis and her friend Elisa stripped down and raw and Robin in her bra. Yeah. You guys are all naked too. Yeah, well, who wants to see that? It is just the wildest show we've ever put together. Check it out Saturday night. And Jackie Penhouse joke page Martling finally no. order his new dirty joke CD, Hot Dogs and Donuts by phone. A lot of people have been waiting for that. Oh, by phone. Yes. Yeah. Only, I guess if you didn't want to run to the store, you could get it by phone. Yeah, now. you can sit right at home. Only $12 plus $4 U.S. shipping. Call 1-800-323-KING, please. Next Wednesday, November 25th, 5 p.m. at Record Town in Ocean, New Jersey. It's Jackie signing his new CD and cassette. For information and filthy animated jokes, visit Jokeland.com. Thank you both. Also, also, let me make sure I got this straight. Oh, there's, oh okay. And in one, in one minute, we're going to meet Anna, who is from Poland. She's a radio personality in Warsaw. <clears throat> and she wants to meet the greatest broadcaster that ever lived. And I am granting her, even though I'm not too choked up with what the Polish did during World War II. Well, you can talk to her about it. Maybe she can straighten you out as to why that happened. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah. Uh... Did you see this article in the paper today? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> about, uh, about the, what's her name, that... Broadway actress who lost her voice? No, Julie Andrews. No. Julie Andrews. Anybody know who that is? Yes, of course everybody knows. A lot of kids is. don't know who that is. Hey, hold it. Don't even say Don't say who it is. How old is Tara? I don't know. 28 or something? Tara, come in here real quick. I bet you she doesn't know who Julie Andrews is. Who cares? Let's just see her. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Ask one of our interns to come in. Tara's in the bathroom. But All right, I'll give me an intern. I'll send an intern in. Yeah, this is, I just got to prove a point. That's why I got to explain everything on this dumb show. <laughs> Nobody's up to speed. I bet you don't know her. You want to bet? Mm hmm. Pick three interns. You want to bet? How old are you? 22. All right, bring in two more interns. He looks too smart. Well, he's too smart. He looks too smart. <laughs> <laughs> you must be giving him too much credit. Yeah, he's got a special hat there. What's that saying, yeah? Massimo. Yeah, see. What does that mean? It's a company. Oh, this guy's Clothing too company. Smart. Oh. All right. I should know that. <laughs> nice shirt, by the way. Thank you. Uh, all right, three people are here. How old are you? I'm 22. Oh, I know you're 22. How old are you? 21? How old are you? I'm oh, 28. She might know. All right. Let's see. All right. Raise your hand. Let hmm. see. If I ask one, then they'll all know. Right. But no, raise your hand if you know who Julie Andrews is. All right, you two got. Do you know who Julie Andrews is? Uh, an actress. Oh, Stop! Oh. 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 Now they're raising their hands. I told you it wasn't smart. Did you know that? No. All right. You have no clue who Julie Andrews is? Right, that's my point. Some people don't know. All right, wait a minute. Then say to him, Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins, you know what that is? Yeah. Not you. We know you. Hey, Move away. Oh. Come here. <laughs> no, get on the microphone. You don't need the headphones. Mary Poppins is, uh... It was, she was in a, it was a movie, right? Right. Yeah. What was it about? Oh, boy. <laughs> See, I tell you, people don't know. This is this chimney. is an odd case. With a chimney, right? You're right. Sound of music. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim chimney. Chim Super Califragilisticexpialidocious. You know all that, right? Right. Who wants to sit through that movie? 
I didn't ask you. I just asked you if you know who it was. I don't want to sit through it. You got Dick Van Drunk and Mary <laughs> Poppins. Yeah. All right, thanks. All right, uh, thanks, guys. But right. see, two out of three knew. Wow. Anyway, so Mary Poppins, she, she had some nodes on her vocal cords. Non-cancerous. Non-cancerous. Had them removed. Now she can't sing anymore. And they were rumoring this for a long time, and they were denying it. But now they're saying she really can't sing. She even said, like, I wouldn't have gotten them removed if I knew I wasn't going to be able to sing. Well, that's right. This was supposed to improve her voice. Hmm. Oh, it did. So now they're saying she might have to turn tricks in order to make a living. Oh, is that I'm ridiculous? The tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> the bu tunnel bunny. Jerry Andrews Tunnel Bunny. I'm <laughs> Mary Poppins. What's your pleasure? <laughs> <laughs> Come under my umbrella. I'll give you the Chim Chimney Re special. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, what, what, what article are you referring I'm to? I'm talking about the article. She's Sutton Pretty. That's in Neil Travis, New York this morning. Oh, week. Judith, you mean. No. No, who? When Tara Sutton was hired to videotape the ah. Howard Stern radio show. Uh-oh. Tara, our camera yes. woman? Yes. Yeah. She didn't realize she'd be going from behind the scenes to being a scene stealer. What? She but Howard, just... who never met a pretty woman he didn't like, has right. made the former model. Uh, did you know Former that? model? Former what? model. Tara's a broadcast for... news producer, an integral part of his Saturday night TV show, wow. billing her as the sexy camera chick. <laughs> Oh, no kidding. I didn't know Tara was a model. Says it was a bit hard at first being included in the testosterone-fueled frolics. What column is this? Neil Travis, New York. So what, is Tara going out and doing publicity now? I don't know. Wow. But she now tries to follow the advice of stern guest Joan Rivers, who told her to enjoy the sexual harassment while you can. <laughs> yeah, because when you get ugly, it doesn't work. Someday people will stop paying attention. Right. <laughs> Am I, a, am I sexually harassing? I would. I, I thought would, I was a very. Exception to that because that if you said yeah, you would be agreeing that you're sexually harassing. No, I don't think I sexually harass her. Hey, let me ask you. Hey, Tara, am I sexually harassing you? Why do people say if you talk to a woman, it's sexual harass? I got set up, man, by the publicity oh, lady at the place say. where I work. Yeah, you sound like Jackie. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I'm really embarrassed about this. I just Shit. found out yesterday. What is this? So am I sexually harassing?